Okay, another quick video this evening. Forgive the mess. I've been sort of goofing around tonight, trying a few different options, but one of my ideas was to dig out an RCX and install, download the firmware for LDCC back onto it. That's Lego Digital Command Center. Um, that's what they use for um, model train layouts. Um, but somebody, I can't remember who, LDC 1.05. So what you do is uh, you download the firmware onto your RCX, and then of course you have to jumper all the motor outputs together because this requires a lot of amps. <laughs> so um, anyway, so it goes from the, the RCX to a train connector to a motor that has an LD, uh, a DCC chip inside. And I won't go into that in this video, but I actually have, a, I converted a few motors years ago when we were doing train shows um, to have a DCC chip inside. So the uh, train controller is not connected. It's way over there, unplugged. But I do have a remote here, which is kind of fun. So here's a remote. Now, this is not a circular track, so I can't play with it too much. I only have that little stretch going on right now. But first, here's a remote. Point out the RCX. And you can turn the light off and on. See, look at that, just put the remote. But the really cool part about DCC is, and so it's up and down. And if you hit both buttons at the same time, it basically stops it. So, but of course it has a little bit, so I uh, hit down that way and it stop. Turn the light on and off. <clears throat> so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to use, as I was thinking about using the DCC, the LDCC, to run the rails and the motor because right now there's nine volts continuous on the rails with an embedded with an embedded signal that the DCC chip picks up. So there's power to the rails at all times, which would cause my lighting to work. That was the idea anyway. <laughs> it didn't turn out that way. But so and then you can just control the train via the remote. And I thought that was perfect. The issue is I think the signal that's in the rails is interfering as with the uh, Rob Hendricks brick because that thing should be spinning around in circles when it was just straight nine volts with no signal coming to this. That thing would be working right now. But right now, only one light's on. And we just won the basketball game. So I'm going to go upstairs and watch that. But in the end, I can't use LDCC on the rails if I want to power my buildings off the rails. So now I have to make a decision whether or not I just want to separate the power to the buildings and just have it plugged into a power supply, uh, or which means I'm running wires back to a power supply instead of just plugging into the rails right where the building is. Um, but then I can't do other stuff. So I have to make a decision. Either I run DCC on the rails or I run just straight 9 volt off of the... Um, the transformer there, the controller there. So that's my decision. I'm going to have to make it. Uh, but uh, so LDCC, um, it's archaic. Uh, dig it up. <laughs> As you can see, it works fantastically well. And then uh, I keep on pointing to the train. I should be pointing to the RCX. <laughs> so, so that's forward, backwards. I'll go the other way. Yeah, uh, uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, but I think that's it. So I'm going to call this uh, a, a wrap for the evening and uh, I'll get back into it sometime, hopefully this weekend.